Hello everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios. I'm Jeff Kalsanon and I have a wonderful request from Kevin P. He asked me to take a look at Yoyoka doing Seven Days, which is a Sting cover. I've played Yoyoka on the channel before and I absolutely love her, so I'm so looking forward to getting into this. Let's get right into this. Let's hit that play button. Here we go. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's so solid. Listen to that kick. Oh. Seven days was all she wrote. Kind of ultimate note. She gave to me. Beautiful. Beautiful playing. Check out the accents on the hi-hat there. She's got two levels with her sticks there, with her, with her stick hitting that hi-hat. I'll explain that later. I like how they mic'd up her set because you could hear all the pieces of her kit. That ride that she went to, I could hear that so clearly. You hear how she opened the hat a little bit? Like that. That little thing adds so much. You hear that? Oh, now she's got four on the floor with the kick drum. Oh, solid. Man, her time is so good. Gosh. With authority. Oh. Check out what she's doing. She's playing that ride, the bell of the ride cymbal, but then she's still working that hi-hat with those slushy hits, like that. Adds so much. Oh, that's really cool. Her left hand is also hitting the ride cymbal like that. So she's cross-sticking the snare, and in between, she's she's also <laughs> joining the right hand on that right cymbal. That's <laughs> so cool. Ugh. Beautiful. Oh, man, her hits. Her hits are so solid. Yeah, she choked the hi-hat on that one. Oh! <laughs> oh my... This is ridiculous. It's so good. She is so incredible. Oh! Born to play drums, man. That's all I could say. 
this instrument is an extension of her body. My God. Oh, so good. She's incredible. <laughs> Just drops her thing. <laughs> Let's spin it. I don't know. She's like, whatever. Let's you check that out. Well, I... I am just, I'm just absolutely floored by her. Uh, this is a great example. Thank you, Kevin. This is a great example of the finesse playing that she does. I mean, she's a spectacular play player and she can just fly around the kit and do all kinds of spectacular stuff. And, and it's really obvious that she's an incredible drummer when she does that. But what I love is this kind of stuff because this is more subtle and it's finesse playing and that means that she is cooking on the set back behind with what else is going on in the song and not getting in the way but filling up the space in such a beautiful and rhythmic way and that's what i love because all of that little stuff that she's doing all those little hits and stuff that she's doing it adds so much to the foundation and the feel and and the energy and how it sounds so kinetic when she's playing and it supports the band and that's the sign of an exceptional drummer so yeah what i was talking about with the with the hits um like with uh like she's playing uh, bad choice black pen uh any, anyway um so like when you're when you're hitting the hi-hat like that so there's a there's a level that you you go to with the, with your stick and let's say this is the, the drum so there's a level that you go to with the stick that is high and those are for your hard hits and then there's a level that you're at for the not as loud hits so the quieter hits down here so loud soft loud soft so that's how you can get this this hard soft hard soft and that kind of playing um you know you could do that on the snare with ghost notes of the same type of thing where that's how you get these dynamic levels in your plane it's not just all the same pop, 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 right because if you did that that's just like it's 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 way too much it's it's uh you know not playing with finesse so when you're able to do that and you're able to play with these different dynamic levels in your plane in between your hits you know then you, you've got this real percolating sound um when you're playing your kit so um just a small detail i like to point out her hits are done with such authority, especially in her fills. And I love how she's grooving in a beat and then she's ready to transition to the next section. And she's like, thwack. I mean, she's like, bam, snare with the fill and the crash. And that just pops up as it should because it's supposed to push you into the next part right so that's what that's what the purpose of the fill is is to, to transition you builds excitement for the next part right so that's what a fill is going to do the next part is exciting then that fill needs to be exciting because it needs to elevate you and it's kind of foreshadowing right so love that there's there are just a ton of these little things in there that i noticed Yo, Yoka is just absolutely amazing. This is a great example of her playing something that's, that is nice and intricate, and I just loved it. Thank you, Kevin, for your PayPal donation request on this. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, man, I'll tell you, I have the, the most sophisticated viewers, and I'm just quite proud of that. <laughs> you guys are awesome. This is a great, great suggestion. Um, yeah, keep them coming. All right, we'll come back for more. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Seems another suit appeared to challenge me. Whoa, it's me. Though I had to make a choice, my options are decreasing more.